Well, here we are down on the creek again. There's Wayne. Kind of long arming shovels full of very, very good looking blue clay and sandy material. Lots of rocks in it. Some good sized rocks. And over here we have Ray, who is playing uh, Demolition Derby here. He has taken out a couple of huge pieces of bedrock and he is using a little thing that he built, which is a really neat little critter. All right, what you have here is all the shit that was under that. Yep, well, there's tons of stuff under there, and the size of those rocks and the clay down in there—that's going to be good stuff, right? All right, I'm going to kind of scoot over here so we can get a better view of Ray's contraption. All right, basically, since Ray's a, uh, a roofer, he deals with a lot of bending of sheet metal and stuff. And what he's done is make a wire mesh basket and put it on rails. Uh, he's doing this over a uh, an old toolbox, and underneath the wire mesh basket is sheet metal with a circular opening in it that drops right into a five-gallon bucket. So Ray can process a ton of material with this outfit. Coming around. And then he lifts it up, it's hinged, and he dumps all of his plus size rocks out into the ground here. Basically you're gonna have to bring your detector down and I just run so. over run over that. Because that's either that just, or I'm gonna have to make some sort of tray that sets out here to where I you dump you it dump, on the tray and then I can dump the tray. Yeah, that's it. But uh, yeah, Ray's been a busy critter this last week. He built this and he built a uh, real nice unit to put in his garage just to process material in his garage he's using a horse trough and we'll take a picture of that when we get back up into the uh, into the garage but right now you can see the quality of the material that's coming out that Ray is getting way back into this bedrock now uh, this is what we call bookshelf bedrock it's you know pieces of slate that are vertical and once you pry those pieces of slate apart, it's just like a natural riffle. And as the material comes down the creek here, why well, it uh, it really gets going in the uh, high water times and runs right over those pieces of bedrock sticking up and drops right into the crack behind them. So we will pay particular attention to Ray's pan when he uh, when he does a clean up here. All right, well, here's Ray. The material he was digging out looked really, really, really good. And you can see he's got a decent amount of gold down in, oh, in there. Okay. They're all pretty much small. It's just a couple of decent sized flakes. But either we go up or we go down, one of the two, who knows? <laughs> We're just moving a lot of dirt today and getting uh, minimal amounts of gold. Alright, well you can see the area I'm working out over here. I've got a big long crack that runs right along from the deep pool that I was digging uh, last time we were here. And so I'm digging down to see if this is, crack is going to intersect all the way into the, into the deep pool. And right at that point there should be some decent gold. Alright. Didn't get much, but, uh, well, I mean, you know, I got little flakes and fly poop up here on uh, top of the bedrock as we were going down. Now I'm starting to see better gold. I'll come around here and grab my pan. And right here, I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see that I do have... A decent showing of gold for a half bucket of material. Yeah, I'll take that every day. All right. There we go. All right. Well, we're back up in Ray's garage now. I'm just going to give you a quick look at the uh, outfit that Ray has put together. All right. He brings materials back from his little sojourns around in the uh, in the county here. And what he's done is he's taken 
the uh, perforated metal tape and made braces for a keen A52 sluice down below here. Of course he's doing it into this nice big horse trough. Down below we can see a 120 volt 2700 gallon per hour sump pump which is plenty enough to uh, run this A52 keen. At the end of the keen he has manufactured a uh, uh, basic a feed where you can see the pump, the uh, water coming in from its pump right here and it comes down in the little trough and then flows out through the sluice. Alright, now he may have to make a baffle here right on his uh, his pump feed right into the uh, into the tray but this is a crafty little unit I can't wait to see him run it that's true a couple of a couple of buckets of material here all right uh, now we can see the bottom of Ray's little classifying basket and you can see the uh, sheet metal with the hole in the five gallon bucket that stays right down there at the bottom underneath there and another crafty little piece of machinery in utilized in the search for buttery yellow gold